All right, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, hey, the boss told me all about you. You ready to leave? Let's get out of here. All aboard. On the smuggler's boat. The fact that it's not taking us directly to our destination on the world map is a little suspect. Oh, you know what this is? This is the perfect setting for a ghost ship dungeon. I mean, we've just hit the we just hit the sewer. It's gotta be a ghost ship in there somewhere. <laughs> to be fair, this already looks a bit like a ghost ship in itself. <laughs> Are you alright? Do I look alright? No. Oh, you seem a little better than before. At least you can talk now. Barely. He said one word. I guess. Oh god, this isn't right. The boats always rock like this. Why don't you try going out on the deck? The fresh air might give you some good. Really, uh, maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'd better come with you. You still look a little shaky. No, no, I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, I love it when games do stuff like this. The girl, Alice, possesses extraordinary powers. She would make an excellent research subject. The young man who calls himself Yuri also wields unusual forces. In the future, our country must dissect them. What about my future? Hey, what are you doing there? It's not polite to try out, try and find out a lady's secrets, sonny boy. Weren't you just trying to find out Alice's secrets? Ugh, what's with a memo? What's it say? Oh, you, oh, you mean, oh, you mean this memo? Oh. <laughs> this old thing, it's just my diary. I thought I'd better write down each and every detail of this exciting adventure. Good idea, no? No. I couldn't care less. Yeah, uh, gross. Don't you dare throw up. <coughs> don't swallow it. Okay, don't throw up. Don't swallow it. What do you want me to do with it? Send it to another dimension. I'm done for. How filthy. How disgusting. Go lie down or something. Shoo, shoo. Huh? Where's this locked? What are they up to in there? It's time for some spying. It's gotten quite foggy. Is there a ghost ship in this? <laughs> But genuinely, I don't remember. It's been so long since I've played this. Like, pretty much up to Dalian, I remember pretty well. Everything after Dalian, though, I do not remember at all. There's like one specific part later that I remember because it involves a really cool character that I quite like. But everything else, I do not remember at all. I genuinely don't remember if there is a ghost ship. There could actually be a ghost ship. <laughs> uh, yes, but not to worry. The boat is sailing smoothly. Yuri would like to disagree with that assumption. You know, I didn't think we'd actually have it this easy. You're incredible, Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima. 
they really think we're their own personal carriers. So from Shanghai, all we have to do is get them on the special charter and rush them off to Japan. I hope nobody is listening to me. Way to be inconspicuous, but... <clears throat> I can't let our guard down. These people butchered the, the soldiers on the Trans-Siberian Express. No, that was a guy called Bacon. Long story. <laughs> yes, well, I heard about that incident too, but... I can't imagine that the girl would be capable of such a thing. She seems so sweet. I mean, just look at how she takes care of the young man who's been sick ever since we left port. Hmm. It could have been him, not Yuri, that did the butchering. Kato? Y yes. I wanted to see for myself. I wanted to see the girl and her friends with my own eyes. I assume you've heard about the old man in Shanghai who continues to plot against our army? Yes. I don't know the details, but Dehuai seems to be a warlock with powers of an adept. Correct. Thanks to him, we're having great difficulties gaining any measure of power in Shanghai. <laughs> He's a sharp old scoundrel, that Dehuai. They say he tried the ultimate Taoist magic 15 years ago and... It was about to blow Japan to bits. R really? Hmm, who knows? It could just be an exaggeration, something my father let slip when he was drunk. Apparently a colonel in Black Ops was just barely able to stop Dehuai's ritual at the last moment. Uh, I had no idea. I don't know how much of it is true. But I think that at least some part of it really happened. The bloated desk jockeys we take our orders from don't have a clue about the size of this country. We knew even less about the teeming varieties of people and ways of thinking here. This utopia we're pushing is nothing more than a dirty trick shrouded in a cute name. Even I might just be another cog in the wheel of the scheme helping to move it ever forward. Oh. People here are victims of politics. That's relatable. All I really want to do is get on with their lives. It's no surprise this land would produce a warlock like Dehuai. It'll at least make things interesting. Okay. <laughs> Was it a colonel? What do you think is the connection between Dehuai and, Dehuai and Alice's? Hmm. Forgive me for going on and on, it's just boring talk. Oh no, it's very fascinating. Oh, I always like to hear your thoughts, Colonel. You're a funny fellow, aren't you? Fine, let's get back to the subject at hand. I've been tracking Dehuai for some time. Eventually I learned of the girl he was so desperate to catch. Is this Alice? Mm-hmm, yes. She has a unique spiritual power. Even Suji met his death when he encountered her. Suji... One of the guys on the train, I believe. I think it's one of the names that they said on the uh, intro cutscene. Dehua will stop at nothing to get her. If used properly, she'll be an asset to the Shanghai Offensive. I wish to find out whether she will be a help or a hindrance to Japan's invasion of the mainland. Shanghai Offensive, so the Japanese army can take the mainland. Is that your real motivation, Lieutenant Colonel? <laughs> uh, I can't hear them. What are they babbling about? I'm sure it's fine. Wait a minute. Um... This green slime. <laughs> Slightly suspicious. I'm sure it's fine. 
Oh, the sun's gone down and the fog's rolling in. Ugh, what's with the scowl, Pops? Don't tell me you're throwing up from seasickness. <laughs> that would be you if I'm not mistaken. Say, kid, are you feeling better now? And what do you make of this unearthly aura? It seems to rise from the sea and permeate the boat. Unearthly aura? Ugh, sorry, buddy, I'm... Oh, I'm dealing with some pretty earthly problems right now. Ugh. Hey, watch it, will ya? Do not soil my robes. No, I'm just a dry human. Ugh. Are we in Shanghai yet? How much longer will this take? <laughs> We should be there a little after noon tomorrow. Uh, I that won't last that long, pal. Hey, kid, if you're gonna kick the bucket, do it over there, will ya? Uh, some help you are. Couldn't you have at least brought some medicine for this kind of thing? Uh, you and Miss Spy Genius are big meanies. Ellis is the only one who really cares about me. Seems to be alive well for storing the catch. Oh. You received witch's broth. Guess that's a magic restoring item. Well, let's go back to bed, I suppose. Slowly. Are you okay? You didn't come back. I was getting worried. Yeah, I'm fine. I learned just how kind you are, Alice. And how cold the rest of the world is. <sighs> Jujin and Margaret say there's something wrong outside. What could it possibly be? Speaking of there being something wrong, Yuri, your disposition has changed since I first met you. Seems like you're changing more and more all the time. Maybe it has something to do with your powers. I'm worried about you. It's like there's a dark shadow hanging over you. And it's getting stronger. No. Oh, yeah, my powers have just uh, gone, a, gone a little wild since I uh, met up with you. Now I can fuse in more spirits, but uh, hey. I say, I say things are fine just the way they are. The way they are. I haven't had any headaches lately. No mystery voice either. Must be doing something right. If you're right about the voice wanting to tell me something, and if what the voice says is true, then I want to know whose voice it is. I've decided to protect you at all costs. Ain't that sweet? So, I'm fine with things the way they are. Yuri. You know, yes? If I were to get devoured by the spirits inside of me that I've fused with, if they take over and I'm not myself anymore, you gotta kill me, Alice. No hesitation. Oh, come on. That's not funny. It's no joke. Don't worry. You won't lose to those monsters, so it won't happen. I believe in you. Hey, you two. Something's going on. Oopsie, that could have been a bad time. 
Mind the way, perhaps? What is it already? What's going on? S -s -s Something big. You two would better come outside. Let's go. Okay. Because I'm going to be able to hit up the save point first, you know. Also, make sure I loot this room so I don't get too early. Another one of those? Pretty sure we already have one of those anyway. Alright, head out. Darn it. <sighs> What's up? Both turning circles in the same in the same place over and over. What? Turning circles? Yes, there's nothing wrong with the motor, but for some reason the boat won't move forward. It's as if the boat was being held by something underwater. You should die. Uh. So not a ghost ship, just a ghost. <laughs> What was that voice? It's Lily. Lily? I thought we dealt with that already. What is that? <laughs> Here it comes. Die. Let the sinking salt water fill your lungs and die. A mindless fish will pluck and poke at your rotting corpses, at your bulging eyeballs. Here she comes, kid. Here she comes, kid. So this is what was raising the hairs in the back of my neck. You two will take cover. This monster is likely to give us some real trouble. Uh, all right. Mm. Run away. Lily. <laughs> so nice you remembered. I've been waiting for you. Lily, please tell us what you want us to do. What we can do so that your soul may rest in peace. What do you want from us? Taste my suffering in die. That's what I want. My friends are coming to greet you. I'd rather they didn't. Damn, she still hasn't moved on yet. Hontena. I'm not reading all of that. <laughs> you... Master Jushin. <laughs> when did you get here, see your mother? You must have masked your presence. You think you can suppress my spirit with your feeble power? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Sea Mother. Oh, she's fine. Lily, I will save your soul. You will not be made to suffer anymore. Now calm your spirit. Silence! Ugh. Sea Mama. Lily, stop this. Undaina, etc. The pain! Creatures of the deep attack! Drag these fools to the bottom of the ocean! She's run away. Couldn't stand up for the Sea Mother's incantations, I suppose. Are you alright, Sea Mother? Why on earth did you do that? Forgive me, Master Julian. 
I just wanted to send Lily off to Nirvana. They're having a concert in Paris today. That was an old-fashioned exorcism you performed just now. Here, let me lend you a hand. If it's all the same, why don't we place seals all over the boat? To help Lily's spirit settle down. Master Zhuzhen, are you sure? Think nothing of it. At this rate, this ship's going nowhere for the time being. Well, let's get to it then. Hey, kid. I'm gonna put up a seal here. Help see Mother rest until I'm done. And I imagine the monsters will be attacking, so I'll need you to buy me some time, too. Okay, you got it. Thank you. I feel much better now. Mother, did you hide on the boat to put Lily's soul at rest? You knew this was going to happen? Yes, I didn't think Lily would give up so easily. I would give my life to save that poor girl's soul. Say, see, Mother. What happened after Lily opened the door that night 14 years ago? Ah, we were interrupted. 